Hey! Wait for me! Why are you yelling? Would you calm down? You want me to calm down? Ha! Huh. So many of the church's best sheep believe in Eastern Lightning. Now it's our future in-law, one of the church's preachers. It's one thing not to resist Eastern Lightning, but now he believes it. Let's go. Wait! What now? Our future in-law has been a preacher for years and can certainly form his own opinions. He's accepted Eastern Lightning, so there might be something to it. <sighs> what do you know? Well, no matter what happens, once we get there, let's at least listen to what he has to say. <sighs> Fine. But, let me remind you, we're not going for a sermon today. We're trying to get him to come back. I know. Don't mess this up for me. I promise I'll mess things up. Hmm? Oh, I promise I won't mess things up. Why are you trying to scare me? Hey, slow down! God has become flesh in China, he's appeared. He speaks truth to judge and cleanse man. Who is it? It's me! Open the door! Oh? John Qin? Oh, coming! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Here, come on in. Nice to see you. <laughs> come sit down. Great. <laughs> ah. So? So? Have you been in good health since I've seen you last? Yeah. Thanks be <laughs> to the Lord. I've been well. Thanks be to the Lord. <laughs> Here, have some fruit. All right. All right. <laughs> I've been meaning to come see you the last few days. Oh? And now you're ah. here. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, I've heard. You believe in... We've heard Yi Xin is coming home? That's right. He'll be home very soon. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to discuss our daughter's marriage. <laughs> oh? Well, they are getting older. Huh? It's certainly time for them to hold the wedding. Mm. I'm thinking the same thing. Well, once he's home, we will set the wedding date. Perfect. Right. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> you know, I've heard you believe in Eastern Lightning huh? now. Is that true? Yes. Lately, I've been reading a lot of Almighty God's words, huh. and I've ah. gained so much from it. I've understood so many truths, and determined that Almighty God is the returned Lord Jesus. Uh. I wanted to come see you so I could tell you the good news. <laughs> oh, boy. This is great. Sure is. You surprised? Oh, I am. <laughs> but not in a good way. What? Well, we never expected you would actually accept Eastern Lightning. Right. Ah. Hmm. You say the Lord Jesus has returned to the earth incarnate? Yes. Okay, listen. There are many prophecies in the Bible about the Lord Jesus' return. Hmm. But not a single one says he will return in incarnate flesh. We shouldn't hmm. speak about things carelessly without a biblical basis. Huh. That's right. There are no Bible verses like that, are there? Hmm. Who says there aren't? What about Luke 17, 24 and 25? <sighs> For as the lightning that lightens out of one part under heaven shines to the other part under heaven, so shall also mm. the Son of Man be in his day. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. Mm. <laughs> and then there's Matthew 24, 44. Mm. Oh, therefore be you also ready. For in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man mm. comes. Yes. That's right. There's also, as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Hmm. These prophecies are about the Son of Man and the coming of the Son of Man. Son of Man refers to someone born of man with normal humanity. So then, the coming of the Son of Man means the return of the Lord Jesus as incarnate flesh. Is that true? Yeah. So now, if it was God's Spirit, He wouldn't be the Son of Man. He wouldn't hmm. suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. Oh my. That's why the Son of Man refers to the incarnate flesh. Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> so you're saying yeah. that just based on these verses, the returned Lord Jesus will be incarnate flesh? Uh. Mm. A little rash, isn't it? Why do you think that? Do you remember what the angel said when the Lord Jesus ascended to heaven after he was resurrected? Ah. You men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? Mm. This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. That's right. There's also Revelation 1-7. Behold, he comes with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. All kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. These verses say very clearly, the Lord Jesus will return upon clouds to bring us to the kingdom of heaven. This is certain. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh? I'm confused. There are prophecies that the Lord will return incarnate. Right. And that the Lord will return on clouds. That's right. 
So what's going on here? <laughs> All the prophecies about the Lord's return will be fulfilled, but... Hey, don't say but! Come on, let him finish what he has to say. <sighs> fine, fine, fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll continue. What was I saying? They will all be fulfilled. All oh, right, right. The prophecies of the Lord's coming will all be fulfilled, but the Lord's prophecies will be fulfilled as God's work progresses. Oh. In the last days, God first comes incarnate to express the truths, do the work of judgment beginning with God's house, and make a group of overcomers. Then the great disaster will come to destroy all of Satan's forces of evil. Next, the Lord will descend on clouds and openly appear himself to all people. That is when all the prophecies about the Lord's return will be fulfilled. Oh, there are distinct steps to the Lord's coming. Mm. First he comes incarnate to work, and then descends on clouds to appear openly? That's right. <laughs> hey, you know, he's actually making sense. Making sense? Huh. I'm not certain if the Lord will be incarnate when he returns, but I'm certain he will come upon clouds. The entire religious world supports this view, but you're saying it's wrong? But, you know, we shouldn't rely on our notions in receiving the Lord. What do you mean by that? Well, at the time, the Pharisees relied on their notions and imaginings. When the Lord came, he would be called the Messiah, born in the royal house. But the Lord Jesus wasn't in accord with their notions. And what happened? The Pharisees wildly resisted and condemned the Lord Jesus, and then nailed him to the cross. Right. The failure of the Pharisees is a lesson. When God appears incarnate in the last days, it fulfills the prophecies about the Son of Man. But the pastors and elders don't investigate further. They rely on their own notions and imaginings to resist and condemn. Tell me, don't you think that's the same mistake the Pharisees made? This huh? isn't good. We can't take the path of the Pharisees in resisting <sighs> God. No, we can't. <sighs> As pastors and elders, we are all people who serve the Lord. We are the Lord's servants. How could we take the path of Pharisees? Huh. Now, Xian Guang, Eastern Lightning says that Almighty God is Christ of the last days. But the religious pastors and elders don't agree with that. They only admit the Lord Jesus as Christ. And they all say that Almighty God is an ordinary person, not God. So I'm certain there is no way that Almighty God is Christ. <laughs> hey, uh... Hey, Shenzhen. If Almighty God is really an ordinary person, why do so many people testify that Almighty God is Christ, the appearance of God? Hmm. Jian Xiangguan says, Almighty God has expressed many truths. I think that uh, there's more to this. <coughs> <laughs> so now, think. Do the pastors and elders represent God? Are their words the truth? Are you certain that what they condemn isn't the true way? You see, when the Lord Jesus appeared and worked, the Judaic religious world condemned and rejected him. Should we say the Lord Jesus isn't Christ because Judaism condemned him? What? I didn't say that. The Lord Jesus is Christ. He is the Son of God. Hmm? No one can deny that fact. Right. <laughs> then why didn't the Pharisees admit the Lord Jesus was Christ? Oh, why's that? The Lord Jesus spoke the truth, but they didn't investigate. They didn't come to know Christ through the Lord Jesus' work. The Lord Jesus outwardly appeared common, and so they judged the Lord Jesus as an ordinary person. What's this prove? It proves that they didn't know the Lord Jesus as Christ. Yes. Today, the religious pastors and elders are the same. Almighty God expresses the truth and does the last day's judgment work, but the pastors and elders don't investigate. They see that Almighty God seems ordinary, so they deny and condemn him. The facts prove elders and pastors are just like the Pharisees and that they don't at all understand what Christ or the incarnate flesh are. Huh? But Xian Guang, the pastors and elders are all familiar with the Bible. Don't you think they're aware? <laughs> if you know more, then tell us. Hmm? <clears throat> Listen up. Hmm. The Bible says, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. The Lord Jesus is the incarnate Christ, the Son of God. Christ means the Savior, the Anointed One. 
<sighs> That's all? That's all. There's no more? There's no more. I still don't understand. Explain a bit more. Huh. These are all mysteries. I can't explain it in a few sentences. Oh, go away. You call it a mystery because you can't explain it. <laughs> Can you please explain it? Yeah. The incarnate flesh is a mystery that I can't explain. Ha! You see? But Almighty God's words explain these mysteries. Huh. Can I read to you? Yeah? Words okay. from Almighty God? Hey! Wait oh, a minute! stop it! If you can't explain it, just sit down and listen. I can't believe you. Hmm. I'll start. Almighty God says, the meaning of incarnation is that God appears in the flesh, and he comes to work among men of his creation in the image of a flesh. So, for God to be incarnated, he must first be flesh. Flesh with normal humanity. This is the most basic prerequisite. In fact, the implication of God's incarnation is that God lives and works in the flesh. God, in his very essence, becomes flesh, becomes a man. Oh, so that's what it means. Mm. <laughs> here, I'll read the next oh, one. sure. From here. Huh. The incarnate God is called Christ, and Christ is the flesh donned by the Spirit of God. This flesh is unlike any man that is of the flesh. This difference is because Christ is not of flesh and blood, but is the incarnation of the Spirit. He has both a normal humanity and a complete divinity. His divinity is not possessed by any man. His normal humanity sustains all his normal activities in the flesh, while his divinity carries out the work of God himself. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Almighty God's words explain very clearly what Christ and the incarnate flesh are. These words are all truths and mysteries we don't understand. Yes. The words of Almighty God really are the truth. Shen Zhen, what are you mumbling about? Huh? Nothing. Just listening. All right. Keep going. Sure. <laughs> the incarnate flesh is God's spirit wearing flesh to become man. Outwardly, he appears common and ordinary, but his essence is truly divine. He can express God's disposition and all that God has and is, based on the needs of mankind. At any time, he can express the truth, provide for people, and do the work of God himself. The Lord Jesus outwardly appeared to be a normal, ordinary person, but he could express the truth to give people the way of repentance and reveal the mysteries of the heavenly kingdom and be crucified to redeem mankind. Yes. These could never be done by man. <laughs> wow. When you fellowship like that, I understand. Hmm. We need to know Christ through his words and the work he does, mm -hmm. not from his outward appearance. Right. <coughs> <clears throat> What's wrong? Does your throat hurt? Here, have a pair. Please, keep going. Okay. <laughs> Christ's divinity is hidden within him. Only through hearing his voice and investigating his work can we recognize him as the incarnate God. Those who only look at Christ's exterior will easily mistake Christ for an ordinary person. Uh, Pastor? You agree? Um, that's right. <laughs> I believe the Lord Jesus is Christ, based on the fact that he did the work of redemption mm. and because he gave us the way of repentance. <laughs> so what is your belief that Almighty God is Christ of the last days based on? <laughs> <laughs> Look, this book expressed by Almighty God, the word appears in the flesh, is my basis. Oh. <laughs> These are the words expressed by the Holy Spirit to the churches. They reveal God's management plan they judge and reveal the truth of mankind's corruption and clearly explain how Satan corrupts people, how God purifies and saves people, the final destinations of each kind of person, and much, much more. <laughs> oh, wow. Almighty God has expressed so many truths. That's right. Those who truly believe in God and yearn for the truth 
can recognize that Almighty God is Christ of the last days through his words and work, and all return before God's throne. Really? Yes. Today, God has already made a group of overcomers. The kingdom gospel has spread to many countries abroad, and Christ's kingdom has already appeared on the earth. Thanks hmm? be to the Lord. It's true. All that originates with God thrives. That's right. Tell me, aside from God, who else could do the work of saving mankind? No one else could. Yes. So then. Why do you keep trying to pull me away? <laughs> What's the matter with you? You have to hold your position. I'm only telling the truth. I think Almighty God really might be the returned Lord Jesus. What's this? It sounds like you're about to believe in Almighty God, you fool. And so what if I do? If the Lord really has returned, we're fools if we don't believe. You! What about me? The only reason I haven't investigated Eastern Lightning is because I bothered to listen to you. And now I really regret it. <sighs> well, I regret bringing you. Ha! Yes, <sighs> Dad, really... I'm home. Yixin is back. Yixin, Jing, you're here. Yixin! Yeah? You got back at the perfect time. Da Why is that? It's horrible. Huh? Something <laughs> happened to your huh? father. What? what? Dad, why, why would you say that? Like What's the matter? I'm just <sighs> fine. There's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong? Your father believes in Eastern Lightning. Oh, hey. okay. I thought something was... What? You believe in Eastern Lightning? Yes, that's right. I just didn't have time to tell you yet. Oh, my. Don't worry. Just let me explain Dad, things first. Dad, don't bother explaining. This is really... Horrible. Wonderful news. Uh -huh. Oh, what? yeah. I never thought you'd believe. I also just... Yixin, huh? what do you mean? Oh. Why is that wonderful? Huh? We've received the Lord. That's a good thing. Yixin, <sighs> you've accepted Almighty God? Yes, yes I have. Goodness. Goodness! Oh, tell me, how did this happen? Well, I left town on a business trip, right? Hmm. A colleague testified Almighty God's work of the last days. Yeah? I investigated. I realized that Almighty God is the returned Lord Jesus. Thanks be to the Shin Lord. Jin. I was just meaning to tell you about the good news. Hmm. Hey. Hey, hey, so this is great. In a way. You surprised? Surprised? Yeah. <sighs> I'm more shocked than anything. Huh? No doubt you're father and son. You even say things the exact same way. What is all this? Huh? A comedy skit? What's wrong? What's wrong? You and your father believe in Eastern Lightning. You're betraying the Lord. Huh? What do I always tell you? Huh? Don't listen to those Eastern Lightning sermons. Why didn't you listen to me? Hey. Huh? Hey. What? <sighs> You're being so difficult. Please, Xianzhen. Why do you always want us to listen to you? <laughs> Why don't you lead us in listening to the Lord's words? You know he's right. He's not right. <sighs> <sighs> Xianzhen, listen. Believing in Almighty God is following the Lamb's footsteps, mm. receiving the Lord. We're not betraying the Lord. The Lord Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Mm. Revelation says, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Please, read Almighty God's words, and you'll know whether they are the true voice of God and the words of the Holy Spirit to the churches. I don't need to. <laughs> I believe in God based only on the Bible. I don't care whether Almighty God's word is the truth or the voice of God. If it's not recorded in the Bible, we can't listen to it or believe in it. <laughs> it's like I've always said, any Lord Jesus that doesn't descend on clouds is a fake. But... Eastern Lightning says Almighty God is Christ of the last days. But that's impossible. Impossible! Stop! It's not impossible. Why can't you just humbly seek? Maybe we should just change your name to Impossible. You... Now, Impossible. What? Oh, no. I mean, Pastor Jia. Huh. <laughs> In the last days, Almighty God has come to do the work of judging and purifying, shaking every religion and sector. Mm. Those true believers hear God's voice and all accept Almighty God. Why can't you see these facts? <sighs> Why don't you read Almighty God's words and investigate his work? You will never know the Lord if you only stick to the Bible. It's What's true. this? Are you lecturing me? It's okay. Calm down. Don't be angry. Come on. Let's sit down and talk. What? Hey, Dad, take it easy. Why are you being so stubborn? Xian Zhen, you know the Pharisees yearned for the Messiah, so then why did they crucify the Lord Jesus? Here, please, have some water. Now, 
Please listen while I read a passage from Almighty God. Let me read it. Let's hear what they have to say. Start here. Do you wish to know the root of why the Pharisees opposed Jesus? Do you wish to know the substance of the Pharisees? They were full of fantasies about the Messiah. What's more, they believed only that the Messiah would come, yet did not seek the truth of life. And so, even today, they still await the Messiah. For they have no knowledge of the way of life and do not know what the way of truth is. These Pharisees in substance were stubborn, arrogant, and did not obey the truth. The principle of their belief in God is, no matter how profound your preaching, no matter how high your authority, you are not Christ unless you are called the Messiah. Are these views not preposterous and ridiculous? The Pharisees were arrogant, they hated truth, and they believed in God without knowing God. The Lord Jesus expressed so much truth with authority and power. However, they didn't accept it and kept to their own ideas, treated their notions as the truth. Finally, they became antichrists who resisted and abandoned Christ. <sighs> this is the truth. <sighs> the pastors and elders of today are the same. Almighty God expresses the truths mankind needs to be purified and enter the kingdom of heaven. But the pastors and elders don't accept it at all. They only condemn Christ at the last days. You see, this reveals their true Antichrist nature of loathing and hating the truth. Hey, watch what you're saying, judging the pastors and elders like that. Huh. Judging? What does 2 John 1, 7 say? Ah. For many deceivers are entered into the world, who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Oh my. And Almighty God says, Those who only believe in Jesus Christ, but do not believe in the incarnate God of today, are all condemned. They are all contemporary Pharisees. Oh no. Because they do not recognize the God of today, and they all resist God. No matter how devoted their belief in Jesus is, it will all be in vain. They will not receive God's praise. All those who say that they believe in God, yet have no true knowledge of God in their hearts, are hypocrites. <sighs> Almighty God's words are clear. Any who hate the truth and deny or condemn the incarnate God are enemies of God. And those who condemn God's work in the last days or resist and reject Almighty God are antichrists, the modern Pharisees who again nail God to the cross. Okay, that's enough. I never really thought that after my years of preaching, you would actually call me a Pharisee, an antichrist. Your words have shaken me to my core. <sighs> but I don't care. Because the Lord knows my mind, and everything I do is all for your benefit. Our benefit? If it was really for our benefit, you would lead us in seeking the true way. You! <sighs> all right. Okay, then. Since you insist on believing in Eastern Lightning, you are no longer considered a member of our what? church. Huh? And we are no longer brethren. Just what do you think you're saying? Uh I'm warning you. Now you're not allowed to preach in my church and steal my sheep. Your church? Your sheep? Oh, so after all these years as a pastor, you think of the Lord's church and sheep as your personal property? Uh, Keeping the Lord's sheep for yourself? You stop believers from hearing God's voice or investigating the true way, ruining their chance of entering the kingdom of heaven. The Lord Jesus said... Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for you neither go in yourselves, neither suffer you them that are entering to go in. I am a pastor, so protecting the flock is my responsibility. <laughs> really? I think you can't let go of the position of pastor. Hmm. Is being a pastor really more important to you than receiving the Lord? 
Is your position more important than the lives of your brothers and sisters? Hey, <sighs> if you don't receive the Lord and he forsakes you, what good is being a pastor? I All <sighs> right, Jen Xiangguang. I've said what I had to. If you insist on believing in Eastern Lightning, that's your right. I can't stop you. <laughs> but I don't want my daughter in a marriage with someone who believes in Eastern Lightning. Huh? What are you saying? But your daughter... Huh? Don't use that tone. <laughs> if you both insist on believing in Eastern Lightning, you aren't my brother-in-law. <sighs> what? You aren't my son-in-law. <sighs> uh, What's your problem? Okay, calm What down. is making you so insane today? Using our daughter's wedding as a threat? Is that what a believer in the Lord does? <sighs> Yijin, he's not in charge of your marriage to Hui En. Don't worry. Pastor Jia, if this marriage doesn't happen, I believe that's part of the Lord's plan. But you, as a pastor, use unscrupulous means to control believers and stop them from receiving the Lord. You're making yourself God's enemy. Careful, or you'll offend God's disposition. Ah. You. Huh. Just stop it, you... Wait! <sighs> Yeah, Shenzhen, you stop right there! Look, that's a modern-day Pharisee. <laughs>